Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, I'm testing Raspberry Pi 4 and I plug it to I plug in Android because I know that's a touch screen, that's a touch screen and that's not. Uh, but I noticed that that if you turn on the touch screen on the Raspberry size of things, it actually work. So let me darken this so I can see what I'm doing. This is a, a Q LED LCD. It's not older. I was thinking about older, thinking that that's older, but this is Q LED, which is a little bit better than the regular uh, C uh, LCD, but it's not older. So I was thinking, hey, it's an older screen, but it's a little bit more expensive than the regular one. Now I noticed that the touch screen did work. And that is pretty cool because then like some of the game that it doesn't work with the touch screen and now it will work because it support touch screen so let's go and open up uh... now I can still read the character it just I can't see the icon because the icon is so small I'm looking for I got Ninja Turtle. Uh, now I have the screen automatic rotate 90 degree, so it doesn't matter how you lay it down. You could go to the uh, Raspberry Pi setup. I mean, inside there's a Raspberry, uh, in the setting, there's a Raspberry Pi setup. And if you rotate it, it will, it will rotate. It will work with all kind of joystick. It will work with I'm not sure. I haven't tested this one yet, but I have a couple of them plug in at the same time. What is it saying? Vibration? Yeah, I want to turn on the vibration. Why not? And let's just test. Yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> so, so it's real cool to, this is Android 13. So if you install this on a Raspberry Pi, you could create your little pinball machine and then also have a touch screen option. I always like to play Deadpool. Now I don't have the speaker plug in into that Raspberry Pi because this is a DSL. It doesn't have a speaker built in. So it doesn't have a sound. So I'm recording in one hand so it's gonna be <laughs> see? That is real cool. And also I noticed that if you uh, plug this into two monitor it will show both the the primary and the secondary but DSL will not show up so give me a second let me reboot this there's something I did that created a problem so let me take that off and then we will do it again okay I plug um, I, I left this plug in and then I plugged the one with the bigger screen which is H HDMI and it boot up just fine but make sure you take the touch screen off. Otherwise, it won't boot up. It will just sit there and go crazy. Okay? So, just FYI. And I'm going to reboot. I'm curious. I'm going to reboot and plug in another HDMI. Uh, smaller, same size screen, 4.3. But this is HDMI. See if it will come up with two screen or not. Alright. Alright. So... I got this plug in, that one plug in. I'm not getting the word Android yet. I know this will not work if you have this plug in. But I know if you turn on the touch screen, then this will not even work. Okay, this one's booted up saying Android, so this is still coming up. But this one, I don't know. Uh, this one, you have to plug in the touch screen option in here, and then HDMI. Go to the converter, to the second port. So, let's see what happened. For some strange reason, I don't know is it because my connection maybe is bad? Oh yeah, I do have two screen, <laughs> two screen come up. Now you have to take off your touch screen, okay? Now what is weird is that this one claimed to work with touch screen, but when I turn on the touch screen, it will not come on. So neither one of them will come on. And and then the only way this will come on come up is when I plug this to the top, 
and it will come up but then if I turn on the touch screen it won't come up again so there might be something wrong with this one but yeah you do get two both screen but there's no touch screen because I disable it but once you turn on the touch screen then then uh, this will not come up because it doesn't find it but this one will come if you turn it on you plug this one back in it will boot up to that one so that's pretty cool uh, see if you move the joystick if you look is em emulate exactly what's on top I wish it, there was like a dual screen you know what I'm saying so you could play uh, uh, two different pinball so let's 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 go ahead and turn on one of the pinball and see what does it do <laughs> let me just press a yeah let me just turn on okay so you got a smaller version and a bigger version now I did not have the audio plug-in now HDMI should have a sound come come out directly from here. Oh yeah, there's a sound here. But see, it's the exact same screen. So yeah, people was asking, can you get a marquee going? Well, for sure, the DSL will not show up if you plug the HDMI. But if you plug HDMI, both of them, you will get two screen. So just an update, let you guys know, yeah, you will get. Well, let's start one. See. Would it make any difference? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't recording. Alright, let's start. So this screen and this screen is exactly the same. So it's not showing me anything different. Now I don't have this one set up where I could rotate the screen right away. So I cannot rotate it. But yeah, it's identical. That one and this one is identical. All right, that's the update. Just letting you know with Raspberry Pi, I'm running Android 13 by the way. So my The launch will work. So launch using my launch button, release, and my flipper is on on the side. So yeah, on this side and also on this side. So yeah, and I could rotate it to vertical, so it look like a pinball all right just an update let you guys know that i'm being playing around with this and i knew i could get this working but if you have a touch screen put on then this would not go on it would stay black and i'm like oh my goodness what i did did i damage it and then uh but yeah you could have two screen coming up and then uh when you turn it off you could unplug those and this will come back up again i don't have a shutdown so that might be damaging my sd card so if you unplug this one uh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Let me unplug those and plug those back on. Okay, I think my problem might be the ribbon because if I let it sit on top of this cable, it's not pressed against it on the table. It might be that might be the cost of it. Okay, so I'm gonna do let me just use a button to shut it down. So that way I don't push. Yeah. So that way I don't push against the cable. So right now the cable is sitting off the table. I push on the cable. So hopefully that might be the reason that I'm having this problem. Because uh, every time I push the touch screen, it's pushing against the cable was creating a connection issue.
normally you should see a, a red light there you go and then then a few seconds will boot up to Android I feel like it might be working now. It, it is so weird. See, now it's working. I don't know, it takes a lot of turning off, like, I guess I think turning off twice in order for it to come up. So, I don't know. I Maybe that's monitor is having issue or maybe my sd card having issue but it's weird is that if i plug into this i don't have that problem all right i'm gonna back up that sd card see uh just to make sure before i start to swap it to this again <laughs> 